There is no team hotter in East Coast Hockey League play than the Toledo Walleye. Winners of their last nine in a row. They'll go for 10 straight tomorrow morning. Another Kids Day game. Their third of the season already. Calibus in town for a 1035 faceoff, a game which you can watch live right here on BCSN. And with that, we bring him in, the voice of hockey in Toledo, Matt Melzak, literally off the road. Not like you were standing on the road, but just off the road with the fish. Have you caught up on sleep? Are you doing okay? Uh, doing pretty good. Yeah. I mean, the every other day has been fun. <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, game, off day, game, off day, game, <laughs> off day, game. Hey, this look, we got something right? here. Maybe we should just keep doing this. Oh, we are. Yes. Uh, through the rest of the week and through Saturday. And then and then we'll get back to more normal on, on the hockey world here. But a strange part of the schedule, that's for sure. It is, but a success part that much we could say and if you've been following uh, Matt's tweets which I know most of you are we are on historic ground here approaching historic ground here with what you're seeing you're witness to it yeah I mean it has been something to to see with the way this team just continues to put wins up I, I mean you know we're in November you yeah. know it's it's a weird time of the year where you know you're putting systems in and we've seen some teams that struggle out of the gate a little bit just trying to get under uh, grasp of things. There was a lot of new faces coming in. Yeah. I mean, it's not like every player. Oh, it's the same top six guys on your team, and your your D are all the same, and oh, you just run right out into the same system. No, you got a lot of different players in there, a lot of different faces, a, a lot of uh, newbies, and, and trying to get on the same page. And oh, yeah, they've only won nine in a row, <laughs> tying a walleye record, one off of the Toledo ECHL record, trying to tie that uh, on Thursday. So it's like. Man, how is this possible? But yet, they just continue to find ways to win. Even you look at the game in Wheeling on Tuesday, you know, it's a hard-fought game there. I mean, you're actually being outplayed in some aspects by the Wheeling Nailers. And, you know, Caden Fulcher comes up. He's 20 years old mm -hmm. and eh, comes up with a great performance. You, you get a power play late. Tansy gives you a goal, third period. Next thing you know, you got to win. J just like that. That's just the like formula. That. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and Snap you, your fingers. Right, and you mentioned it uh they're not done, and, and we've got two more in this week. Uh, it's an early time to do this, but, I mean, is it, is it beneficial? Do you want to keep playing because you're winning? Well, you do. I, I mean, you don't want to have a long break because you are winning, but, I mean, you do like to have – what will end up happening is, you know, if you're not getting that practice time, which it's been tough for Toledo. You know, you play Friday night in Kalamazoo. you got a long travel to Brampton. You're not practicing that day. You know, there is something to playing a lot when you're playing well, like Toledo is. But, you know, there is that thing where you like to, you, you, you'll start to develop bad habits when you get into games, all constant games. That's mm -hmm. why, you know, hockey doesn't play every day because right. there's so many systems in place. And, and yet Toledo's winning, which is great. And you want to keep playing because you are winning. But there are some things that you want to be able to clean up in practice. Love it. The man has had, what did you have, about four hours of sleep? Uh, you know, got a little bit more last night. Okay. I may, I may have gone to four and a half. Four and a half. So feeling good <laughs> right. right now. Okay, and looking into, he's the voice of hockey until you can catch him on Fox Sports Radio AM twelve thirty and on BCSN. You've got home games Thursday and Saturday right here at the Huntington Center. Thank you so much, Matt. Appreciate it.